Well, guys, happy Friday to you one and all, everybody. Look at the atmosphere. It is starting to change. Storm number one came through Southern California yesterday, and now we're preparing for storm number two that's going to make its way through the region. And it's already occurring. You see the clouds and look at the winds coming out of the northwesterly direction right now, really moving through the Ventura LA County line along the Malibu shoreline. Winds 22 sustained through uh, Oxnard, and we're seeing gusts of up to 30 already there. High country, Victorville starting to pick up some gusty winds, even through the Santa Monica Bay and Rancho PV. They're starting to pick up some stronger gusty winds as well. The temperatures are much cooler. We're seeing 61 currently in Fullerton, 58 from Ontario to Riverside, freezing already, and it has been throughout the entire day up in Big Bear, just stuck at 32 degrees and of course, with the cold air emerging, we're seeing a lot of uh, snow chances that are becoming greater and greater as the hours and minutes go by. Here's a look at Big Bear, still seeing some snow showers as the wet weather comes up out of Running Springs into Lake Arrowhead and eventually, once again, Big Bear Lakes, Wrightwood. There's the Angeles Crest Highway, a little bit of a rain snow mix, and finally, a solid lo lo locked into snowfall between that six to 7,000 foot level. And by late tomorrow, Saturday evening into early Sunday morning, winter storm watch begins. And these mountains throughout Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Riverside County are going to see this storm watch staying in place until we get to Tuesday evening. We could see up to four feet of snow once we do make our way into Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. And also tomorrow on Saturday afternoon and evening, we'll begin to see the flood watch sticking around Southern California and taking us into Tuesday afternoon. And the reason for all the heavy rainfall, well, it comes from the atmospheric river. And this is a 2,000 mile journey as much of this water vapor comes from just north of the Hawaiian Islands all the way towards our state. And it's also going to be helped out. This is the conveyor belt, this area of low pressure that's holding in a great deal of moisture as well. So the two storms are going to meet up to provide a good deal of rainfall over the next five to 10 days here in Southern California. Here's a look at the storm tracker again, making our way through the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Do not be surprised if you see some light sprinkles, some drizzle throughout much of the day tomorrow. But by the time we head into very early Sunday morning, way before the sun begins to rise, well, the atmospheric river begins to move into Southern California. This takes us into Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, and you can see the heavier rainfall still by the time we head into the three, four o'clock hours up into Santa Barbara, Ventura County, and making our way through Sunday night. This is when we'll see Los Angeles, Orange County, and finally the Inland Empire as the sun begins to rise on your Monday morning, begin to pick up some very heavy rainfall, and not just heavy rainfall, but continuous and constant rainfall rainfall coming through Southern California as the rain makes its move through the area late Monday night into Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. This is Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. We'll finally take a little bit of a break by Wednesday night of next week. And let's take a look at the rainfall totals that we could see coming from this atmospheric river event again through the day tomorrow. Traces of rain throughout much of the Inland Empire. And then by Sunday morning, well, the rain begins to fill in and look at Van Nuys already picking up over a quarter of an inch. We'll see Lancaster at about 13 one hundredths of an inch. Pasadena by the time we head towards Sunday morning already near four, three and a half inches. And as we make our way into Sunday evening and Sunday night, the early portions of Sunday night, Van Nuys approaching four inches of rain. Downtown Los Angeles getting close to two inches of rain. That heavier rain begins to spread into Orange County and the Inland Empire where we'll see Palmdale coming in with two inches of rainfall. This is as we make our way into early Monday morning. Ontario getting uh, close to two and three quarters of an inch. We'll see Victorville, then Big Bear starting to pick up rainfall amounts of over two and three inches. Finally, we'll make our way into Tuesday afternoon and things begin to settle down somewhat, but the showers will continue as we make our way into Tuesday night, Wednesday, and once again into Thursday as well. So we will be in storm watch for storm number two from late tomorrow, Saturday night all the way through Tuesday. And we're talking about rainfall, preliminary rainfall totals from the beaches to the valleys between three to six inches, foothill mountain areas, six to 12 inches of rainfall. Of course, that translates into snow and between six to 7,000 feet snow totals from late Saturday into Tuesday evening and Tuesday night anywhere between two to four feet and of course there's going to be a great deal of hazards those being flooding strong gusty winds as well as thunderstorms and along some of the coastal sections we could see some water spills
spouts taking place and some dangerous high surf as well. Tomorrow again, mostly cloudy skies, daytime highs for your Saturday afternoon into the upper 50s and low 60s. Sprinkles available for much of the eastern sections of Orange County as well as the Inland Empire with daytime highs tomorrow between about 57 to 59 degrees. Here's a look at the seven day downtown Los Angeles again, mostly cloudy. There will be some light precipitation throughout the afternoon tomorrow, which will turn into heavier rainfall chances as we make our way from Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Most of the day on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday showers off and on and that trend will continue into the following Thursday and Friday. Mountains looking forward to heavy snowfall making our way from late Sunday into much of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well as Friday and again by Tuesday our mountain communities resort communities could pick up to four feet of snow. San Fernando Valley mostly cloudy tomorrow. Heavy rain from Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. Partly cloudy and a little bit of a break in the action once again on Wednesday and then the showers pick up again for next Thursday and Friday. I want everybody to stay safe. I'll be here all weekend long to help you through storm number two. We will be right back.